Hey guys, Desolate Magic here. We get to play everybody's favorite game, Leak or Marketing Stunt. I will warn you before I show these three spoilers, um, they are massive story spoilers. So if you don't want to know uh, what happens to certain characters in the uh, 10 Planeswalkers versus one lady with a wide hat storyline, then you might want to skip this. This is your last warning. Here it is up on screen. So we've got Jace, Vraska, and Nyssa. Oh yes, the band is getting back together of the most inept superhero group since... The Multiculture Pals. Apache Chief, Black Vulcan, and Super Hulk. Juan Gigante, the negotiator and his super sidekick, Petzela, the French Tickler, and Jesse Jackson. Okay, okay, that's not fair. Nyssa did, for a couple seconds, wrap up Nicol Bolas' feet in some vines. I'm not kidding when I say that's the furthest they got in the fight. So I was trying to look at the uh, titles in the art and see, well, who got completed and who didn't, and then I realized all three of them say completed. So, um, yeah, we got Jace the Perfected Mind, which, uh, that is dangerous. Look, Jace is, is 20 points in intelligence, 6 points in wisdom, if you know what I mean. But at least he and, uh, I don't even remember, had a good cry on the steps of the, the I don't know, the Aztec ripoff place. Uh, you know me and names. I don't remember anything. I need some damn sleep. So him having, like, uh, let's just be honest, you know, call it what it is, Borg-level, you know, focus and, and, and intelligence and then his mind powers, that is dangerous as crap. So then we got Vraska. I don't know much about her. I mean, green, black, assassin, kind of emo. Kind of like hippie emo. I don't know much about what she did. Uh, then we got Nyssa, who's a somewhat arrogant elf, probably baseline for as far as elves go, in really almost any fantasy, and then also the magic world and multiple planes. They're very, very xenophobic racists. But more importantly, she is considered very powerful. You may think, oh, the power of nature and some vines and crap, but like she will absolutely stomp you. She even briefly learned how to use blue mana. Remember that? Dang. So working in reverse because we can see most of it, we got Nissa Ascended Animist. It's three plus two green plus two Phyrexian, which obviously is seven, but you can pay, you know, up to four life, you know, two each, to get her out for five mana. Now, I believe the last time we saw that was a Johnny and there was a loyalty penalty when you did that. I think it's in the reminder text for completed, but since this is the fancy, 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 pantsy, schmancy, whatever the hell showcase... 3.0 alternate secret ghost textured limited edition forged on Mars by Elon Musk himself edition. Uh, they tend to not put reminder text on there because reminder text is for amateurs and you've got to be a very super duper serious magic player to own these. And if you don't, you might as well just quit the game as we all know. So I analyze these pretty close. Um, not only is that not appearing to be a fake background, which we'll get to that in a second, but um, if these are a Photoshop fake, it's the best I've ever seen. I don't think they are. So, uh, yeah, completed. Cool. I think we know what that does. You know, lowers loyalty if you spend Phyrexian on it, I believe. And that's a uh, green Phyrexian, by the way. I should point that out. Uh, so, plus one, create an XX green Phyrexian horror creature token where X is Nisa Ascended Animus loyalty. Holy crap. I believe when it says where instead of and it has... Uh, that means that when you create it, it is what it is. So if her loyalty goes up and down, the token does not go up and down. So you drop her in for seven and plus one her. Uh, the plus one is part of the payment, I believe. So as soon as it resolves, it would be eight, eight. Oh, -ho! I don't think green ramp fits into the meta at all right now, but I mean, if it did, hello. So negative one, destroy target artifact or enchantment because green's still gonna green. And then negative, ooh, it's a mystery. Uh, until end of turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus one for each forest you probably control, own, whatever, and gain trample. Hello. <sighs> See, it looks like one digit. There's only room for one digit with the alignment of that minus sign. So how much would be appropriate? I'd almost say... Plus one, plus one, and trample. I'd say probably negative seven. That's probably what's under there. You can kind of see the pixel there. Or the pixel, the, the vertical, whatever, font, vector, rasterize, who cares. So pretty spicy card. Let's go to Vraska, which, ooh, is a mystery that's going to make people talk about it even more. I wonder if this was staged as a marketing stunt. I wonder. I'm going to help Watsy with this one. I'm going to help him with the investigation. Okay, so that's clearly a female hand. So why don't we just go talk to the six remaining female magic players 
five of which work at Watsy, probably in the marketing department, and ask them. Or honestly, I zoomed in far enough, you could get prints off that. Oops. Look, I could get into some of the reflections and stuff, but let's just say uh, this is staged. Look at the background. The Frixian symbol, come on. Anyway, okay, I think I got distracted. Vraska, Betrayal Sting. Uh, completed, cool, don't even know the cost. Ooh. Zero, you draw a card, something proliferate. And I believe the the first letter after the, the word card is and, or A for and. I hate proliferate. It is so unbelievably unfair and overpowered of a mechanic, but these do seem to cost a bit. But her cost isn't, like, running off the card. There's not much room for cost left, so... Huh. Also, she appears to be mono-black. I and mean, that's all purple. I don't see no, you know, gold, like, like uh, black-green mix, but I don't know. Maybe it's on the right side? No, not really. It would be half the name, wouldn't it? I don't know. I, we've never seen this frame before, so I don't know. But that's interesting. Okay, so uh, negative two, target creature, something, something something with, I don't know, target creature gains, maybe? I don't know. With tap, sacrifice, something, mana of any color, some other stuff, and then types and abilities. Probably becomes, and then you can sack it if it's your own one, or it, like, turns into something that poisons them over time, like a stab wound. That would actually be really cool. And then negative nine, if target player something counters something counters, it, I'm sure it's awful. Moving on, we got Jace the Perfected Mind, which is at least two generic and one blue. Looks like there's enough room for about really one Frexian in there. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was two. I just don't see it. So that's low. Um, He does have plus one until your something creature G something gets gains. Probably an on-hit effect or a scry or something. And then, uh, okay, negative two. Target P, probably player, something A graveyard, something it, your something draw. Oh, this is just stupid. Why am I even? And then negative X, Targ. It's just Targ. You summon the legendary creature Targ. Wait, no. The, you you yourself get Targ of the Blooded from, from Skyrim. Oh, this is such a transparent marketing stunt. And it's like, think about the timing, guys. Come on. They had to end the spoilers early for the last one because it collided with the next spoilers. Everybody's pissed. And the only thing anybody talks about positively right now is the storyline and the lore. So they decided, hey, two and a half of the longest running Planeswalker characters are all going to effectively die in this battle or turn evil, which is even worse. Now do you like us? Does that distract you from how much you hate us? No! <laughs> you! You chose the most overpriced, luxury, unnecessary BS cards, like the special card frame or whatever, and then staged a female hand with Phyrexian, like, fake nails paint. Come on! A black background, a professional camera, come on! Basically lying to our faces like, look at this leak! I'm surprised you can't see Mark Rosewater in the reflection of her nails. My God. If there was an over-under on this being or not being Gabby Sparts' hand, I know where I'd be putting my money. Okay, I'm mostly joking. I actually have reason to believe that that hand belongs to one of the Star City Games judges. Just a little theory I put together, but I'm not going to outline it because, you know, personal info. So, what do you think of this? People are already, like coping slash making excuses like oh this is all gonna be rolled back time travel something about teferi's ghost what we do know and by we i mean everybody but me somebody please explain this is that teferi's like spirit is separated from his body and stuck in the past and time travel and he's effectively gone but then he's in the artwork featured prominently on uh war of the or march of the machines or wh whatever the hell it's called so he obviously comes in and i think there's an alternate timeline where they all get changed back they kept saying, change magic forever, change magic forever. They, they want to, like, anger slash concern people who are, like, Jace, Vraska, or Nissa fanboys. And, like, they, they, oh, that'll get people talking. No press is bad press. Well, I guess we learned that's not true. Look at your stock price. And look at your sales numbers for Magic 30. Oopsies. At this point, they have driven people so far against them. People are just not giving them money in principle and if they get caught buying magic products their friends and people on the internet will actively shame them for doing it 
Like that's where you're at, Watsy. The only successful, well-received thing you could post right now is a link to a different card game and say, please go play this instead. So that's all I got for today, but I do have at least one, maybe even two more videos coming today. That's right, the rare triple upload after me being lazy slash sick slash busy working this entire month. The most lucrative, highest paying month in all of YouTube. So that that's great. So hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Multiculture Pals, many heroes. One voice.